guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have another 100% honest slime review and I will be reviewing the highly requested Kawaii Slime Company. I recently just attended Kawaii Slime Show and she had the cutest slime marketplace ever and I decided to purchase some of her slimes. I spent around $93 for all of these slimes. I did want to purchase more, but they sold out before I was able to purchase them. But anyways, I purchased blueberry jam, strawberry yogurt, rainbow sherbet, which is an ice cream pint slime, and also a soup slime, which is her summer corn chowder. It also came with some toppings. And we also have her whipped slime, which I believe you can purchase as an add-on with the ice cream slime. And lastly, her Japanese cheesecake slime. First off, I'll be starting off with strawberry yogurt. This is 100% slime, even if it does look like real yogurt. It comes in this cute little plastic yogurt jar. All the slimes did come sealed, but I decided to unseal them off camera. This slime was $8 and I believe there's around 4 ounces of slime so it's around $2 an ounce. The white slime I believe is a thick and dense butter slime that is scented sweetly and the red slime is what is scented strawberry and it also came with 4 charms, 2 blueberries and 2 raspberries which is kind of weird since it didn't come with strawberry charms but they are berry charms and they are super cute. When you mix up the slime, it just turns into a creamy, inflatable clay slime that smells exactly like sweet strawberries or strawberry yogurt. Overall, a really nice clay slime and it comes with these charms and it just turns into this pretty pink color. Next up we have her blueberry jam and it comes in this jam jar that is very sturdy and it's just gorgeous. Her labels are so cute and I had to cut the seal so that I could open it. Her slime packaging is one of the most realistic and professional packaging ever. This blueberry jam comes in a jam jar and the labeling is so cute as well and it just makes her shop look super unique. This was a vivid blue blueberry scented slime. It smells like blueberry yogurt and this also has some tiny jelly cube pieces in it. The jelly cubes were pretty small and they didn't have a uniform shape and this slime did have a lot of slime compared to the jelly cubes. The clear slime in this wasn't very thick. It was almost like a basic clear slime which was still great. It was clicky, stretchy, and glossy. I do wish the jelly cubes were bigger or that they were more since they are so fun to squish and I love the texture that it makes afterwards. Overall, I really did enjoy the packaging of the slime and the slime was still great and I just wish there were more jelly cubes. Next up we have summer corn chowder which is one of her soup slimes and this was the slime I was most excited for. The packaging for this is beautiful. She even adds in some text to talk about how the slime is or the ingredients about like the cream is a school glue and all that stuff which is super creative. This slime also came with some toppings and there were some yellow and green foam pieces, some soup crackers, and these corn kernels which are really cute. So I added in the toppings to make my soup slime. The texture of this slime was sort of like a clay slime with big jelly cubes in it which I think are supposed to mimic the potatoes which is what I read from her website. 
To be 100% honest, I was a little disappointed in this slime. It might be because I was very excited for it and I probably had high expectations, but this slime did not smell anything like a corn soup. It just smelled like snickerdoodles or sugar cookies to me. The texture of the slime was a little odd to me. The clay slime was stretchy, but it would tear. So the slime was really easy to pull and there was no resistance. It wasn't like a really thick slime that was stiff or hard to stretch. It was stretchy. It was just that sometimes it would rip occasionally. It's kind of hard to explain, but this is just the best way I could explain it. It's, it is stretchy, but it would just rip sometimes. I think the clay slime by itself would be fine, but because the jelly cubes were big, it might have like messed up the structure of it, but I am not entirely sure. Overall, I did enjoy the slime. I loved how the jelly cubes were big. They were really fun to squish. I also loved how it came with so many toppings. So overall, I do enjoy the slime. I just wish maybe the texture was, was improved a little and that maybe it would be scented more accurately. Next up, we have one of her ice cream pint slimes, and this is Rainbow Sherbet or Sherbet or however you pronounce it. This also came with a cute label that had its own little creative text on it. And this is a multicolored slime with a Rainbow Sherbet colors, so it has a bright pink, orange, and green. The texture of this slime really surprised me. I thought it would feel like a cloud cream and it's pretty unique. I haven't felt a texture like this. It is very, very creamy and dense, so it feels like a very moisturizing and soft cloud cream. I also want to point out that there is a difference when I say a slime feels wet versus moisturizing. This slime does not feel wet at all. I don't feel any water, but it does feel very moisturizing, almost like lotion. You can kind of say that feels a little oily, but not in a bad way. It feels moisturizing like a lotion. So there is probably like a lot of lotion in here or a softener. This texture is very stretchy and it does somewhat fluff up a little bit, almost like a cloud dough. And like most cloud slimes and cloud creams, there is a little snow residue on your hands when you do play with it. Overall, if you are looking for a very soft cloud cream, then this is perfect for you, especially if you want something that is moisturizing and not wet. The scent for this also smells like a sour rainbow sherbet, and when you mix it up, this turns into a beautiful orange. Next up, we have our homemade whipped slime topping. I believe you can purchase this as an add-on when you purchase her ice cream pint slime online. Since this was called a whipped slime, I was expecting like a slay slime or a clay slime, but this was not that. It is the same texture as the ice cream slime, so a very creamy soft cloud dough. I was kind of expecting a different texture since it was a add-on to the ice cream slime. I wasn't really looking for a slime that was the same texture. But anyways, it's still a really nice slime. It's soft and creamy and this one smells kind of like a vanilla bean to me. Lastly, we have our Japanese Cheesecake DIY Clay Kit, and this is the one you guys are probably most excited to see. The kit came in this blue cloth, and it was tied up inside with two containers, 8 ounces of a slay slime, 4 ounces of clay, I believe, and a bag of instructions with the charms and the fake sugar and also the white doily. I followed the instructions on how to assemble it, so I removed the lid and I decided to play with the Slay Slime. It is thick and creamy and this is the slime that smells like cheesecake.
Afterwards, I took out the clay in the container and I rolled it up into a circle to shape it and flattened it with the lid to make a little disc for the top part. I placed it on top, patted it down, and let it sit for a few minutes and this is what it should look like. Then I placed the doily on top and I assume this is what the doily is. I have no idea what a doily is. And then I added on the powdered sugar which is cornstarch and patted it down. Afterwards, I slowly and carefully removed it and it had this cute little pretty design, although not really as I pictured, but still beautiful. I patted down any excess cornstarch and cleaned up my surface and placed it on top of the gold cardboard display thing and I decided to place the charms symmetrically and it came with three strawberry charms, three grape or raspberry charms, and also three blueberries. I decided to only put one in the middle. I decided to add my own little green leaf and you know, you can just design it however you like and this is how I did mine. This is the final product. It looks so realistic. I can just show this to anyone and tell them it's a real cheesecake. It is beautiful and if you're looking for a kit where you can make your own cake then this is perfect. Eventually I had to ruin my beautiful creation so I decided to mix in the clay. The clay top was super satisfying to press in and mixing it up. It turns into a clay slime that is light brown. It's scented cheesecake and the texture is kind of similar to the corn chowder one but stretchier. It doesn't have any jelly cubes in the way. It turns into a super thick and dense creamy clay slime overall. I really like this clay kit. You can make something beautiful out of it. And it was $25 for 12 ounces of slime, which is almost $2 an ounce, which is pretty worth it. You can make this and actually trick people into thinking you baked a cheesecake. And it comes with the cutest charms. Overall, I really enjoyed assembling my cheesecake and mixing it was just as fun. Overall, I really enjoyed my purchase from Kawaii Slime Company. Her packaging really stands out from every other slime shop and they are all kawaii and cute. She puts in so much effort in her design and she is so creative with her slimes and Overall, I love her packaging and I do believe that there is still a little room for improvement for some of her textures, but overall, it is great. I really recommend you guys purchase from her. Anyways, that's all for this review video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!